Hey everyone, welcome back to Endless Money Pits. This is a 2001 Ford Taurus, and today I'll show you how to flush the coolant. The coolant in this car suddenly turned brown from rust, so we'll also be using a flushing chemical that is designed to remove rust. Coolant has chemicals in it to inhibit rust, but they break down over time, which means this coolant was probably long overdue for replacement. If your radiator gets clogged up with rust, it will need to be replaced, so it's important to take care of this right away. We're also going to replace the thermostat and temperature sensor at the same time, but I'll put that in a separate video to keep this one short. Here are the tools that I used for this job. 19mm socket, 732nd socket, electric screwdriver or a socket wrench, and a magnetic bowl. For this job I also needed gloves, one gallon of antifreeze, one gallon of distilled water, radiator flush liquid, fluid catch pan, and some running water. Before we get started, you need to make sure to have a cool engine. Coolant can be hotter than boiling water, so don't get burned. Open the hood and remove the cap from the coolant reservoir. We'll have to remove the plastic belly pan to get to the drain plug on the radiator. There are nine screws around the edge and three in the center. Now we can see the radiator drain plug. Place your catch pan underneath and use a 19mm socket to remove the plug. I was able to remove it without using a wrench. When the plug is partially out, coolant will start coming out from the bleed hole, but we're going to remove the plug completely to get a better flush. I should have worn gloves. I didn't remove the reservoir cap until now so we could see the difference in flow. When all that nasty stuff is done draining out, run some fresh water through the system until it starts coming out clear. Put the plug back in the radiator and fill the system with fresh water. Let the water run while you start the engine and let it get up to running temperature. We want it to get hot enough for the thermostat to open. You can tell it's open when the upper radiator hose feels hot. Shut off the engine and let it cool down before you drain the water out, but don't let the cooling system drop below freezing when it's filled with water. Put the drain plug back in the radiator and pour the entire bottle of radiator flush solution into the reservoir. This time, fill the system with fresh water up to the full mark on the reservoir and put the cap back on. The directions say to let the engine run like this for 20 minutes with the heater on max. They also say you can drive the car like this for 1-2 to two hours for a deeper cleaning. Once again, I didn't wait for the engine to cool before pulling the plug out, but I got at least half a step smarter. Pull the drain plug and flush with fresh water again. Here at Endless Money Pits, we make mistakes so you don't have to. You're welcome. Now we can put the drain plug back in the radiator one last time and make a 50-50 mix of coolant and distilled water. Time to reinstall the belly pan. I ended up needing one gallon of each to fill this car. It's important not to use ordinary tap water because it can create mineral deposits inside the cooling system. While reading up on this for the video, I learned that the distilling process causes water molecules to have a negative charge which causes them to strip electrons from the metals in your engine over time, so it's actually best to use softened water. But I've always used distilled water and so has everyone I ever knew, so there's that. Fill the cooling system to the full mark with your 50-50 mix. 
The reservoir should slowly empty into the radiator after you pour the first gallon, so make sure to top it off completely. Put the cap back on, run the engine, and make sure the reservoir is still full after the engine goes through a full heat cycle. If the level's good, then close the hood, cause we're done. That concludes this week's video. If you like my videos, consider supporting me on Patreon or donating on PayPal. I really enjoy making these videos, and I'd like to make it my full-time job one day. As always, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below letting me know what you'd like to see next. And until next time, just keep throwing money at it. Shut off the engine and let it cool down before you drain the water out. Thank you.